It's New Birth Thursday! Woo! Woo! And we already have beers poured. We do. Why? And they're from Belgium. Yes. And it's Petrus Aged Pale. Yeah. Wow. And uh, just on fire, calm we're down. On fire! Uh, yeah, no, so we, we're about halfway through the show. And Matt says, oh, hey, by the way, I have no audio. Yeah, we have little switches on our mic packs that turn it on and off. And it, so thanks, Matt. It was. It wasn't. It was. There was some on. gold. You guys missed gold. Yeah. There serious. was some stuff that came out that was said that like revelations were made. The, Done. Yeah. Nothing. Like just gold rain down none of it. from yeah. the heavens. It was as though light from the Lord shined upon us and, and gave us the information for this beer. And now we're just gonna like talk about what we had for dinner. All right. That's all we got left. So no. now that we've gone <laughs> now there, that we've done this, yeah, okay. the beer is opened and <laughs> that's why it's been poured. Oh, bad. we've got to read cheers though at least for the We show. do. We so. do. Cheers to Mike failures <laughs> and great beer. Um, anyways, so Petrus, yeah. Petrus aged pale um, is. One of the reasons we want to do this is because they, um, it's one of the most accessible sour beers that you're going to find as far as availability goes. It's also a beer that if most people don't realize is like a sour beer, like, cause now you're very used to seeing pale ales. Mm. And so when you see Petra J's pale, you're like, ooh, an H pale ale, that's weird. And it is it is a little bit, but they do it so well. Yeah. And it, it sits on barrels for 20 to 30 months and you mm. get such a fantastic sour quality. It's not a pale ale. It's a definite sour beer. It's yeah. a, you know, this is Yeah, it's like a Flemish pale ale. Right. Um, no, it's, it's a pale ale. It's just yeah. sour. Soured. Yeah. Right. And barely. But it's not the pale ale in the aspect of what people think of when they think of pale ale. It's yeah, not it's, Sierra Nevada. It's not, yeah. It's one of the best um, introductions to sour beer, I think, because it's it's got a really nice tartness to it, but it doesn't really like, you know, punch you in the mouth. You know, yeah, yeah it's, it's got a it's, nice acetic acidic balance. Yeah, it's yeah. got well, that. and part of what we talked about was the difference between like sours, where you can go, like you were saying, go that whole full range where you get all the way up to like the mother funkers of beers, where it's like, this is too much. Yeah, and it's and again, and um, mother funker referring to the brewery's mother funker, which they will tell yeah, you is it's too much, too damn acidic. <laughs> it's too damn acidic. That was that 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 <laughs> beer. Son, you was, got some acidity. You know, it's it's funny because this one. With for me with like acetic beers, you get kind of like a, a thing going on like down here. Mm -hmm. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You get that little pinch. Yeah. Um, which you get. That's a when you know you need this. to switch over to something a little bit more malty. You know, like an Imperial Russian style. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> to but, balance it. But man, I remember with with wow. Dude, <laughs> uh, with with Motherfunker, man, it was like because with this, it's like a little like mm, with Motherfunker, it was like someone was sticking daggers in my throat and um, not in a fun way. Yeah. Is there a fun way for people to shove daggers in your throat? <laughs> but getting back to this, I think it's, it's I mean, uh, they obviously intended it to be a soured beer. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like, you know, it's a pale ale, but the hops are very diminished, um, in my opinion. Uh, it's It's got like a nice pale ale quality as far as the maltiness goes, mm -hmm. but um, the, 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 the bacteria and the yeast Definitely are the, the things well, that stand out the Well, and fun trivia things. fact. Oh, we're going to fun trivia. Here fun trivia. This week's fun trivia. Um, do you know who is responsible for getting this sold commercially? I do, because when we, before I, I screwed it up, um, we did this. Can't even do the second take properly. <laughs> Fucks up the audio. Can't do the second take properly. Wait, hey, try, try, try it again. Who's no, doing? No, that's, no, we're done. Just say it. Just say it. Uh, uh, was it Michael Jackson? Just, yeah, spit it all was, over my dreams. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I said last. I hate that. <laughs> It's probably for the best. <laughs> uh, no, um, but no, Michael Jackson, when he was doing his Belgian beer tour. The beer um, hunter. Yes, the beer the hunter, fa famous, famous beer writer. Beer writer. Michael Jackson. Um, when he did his, his Belgian beer tour, he tried this beer there and basically was like so taken by it that he almost insisted that they uh, package and sell this commercially. And so it's become a really well-known um, Belgian beer and you know quite popular. In fact, I think four years ago, before you guys were on New Beer Thursday, we did this beer on the show once and... We were of the newbie variety at the time as far as sour beers go. It was like, a, what the hell is this? this is right, because I was like, this is not a pale ale. This is really awkward. I don't know what I'm getting <laughs> off of this. Because I had never had a sour beer when I had that the right, first time. Right, right. I'd had Belgians and I'd had Flemish Reds, mm. but I didn't expect that from this. And I was like, 
this is bad. This has gone. <laughs> this has well, gone awry. You, know, you aren't, and, aren't necessarily wrong because if I said, "Hey, here, try my pale ale," <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. It's like this is not good, dude. Yeah, You're like, like that, Although, if you could infect a beer, if you could wrong. infect a beer and make it taste like this, you've done something. Yeah, right. <laughs> obviously, we're not trying to d- diminish the quality of this beer yeah. by saying it's just a f- right. No pale ale, but. But oh, I mean, no, this beer fantastic. is this beer is so well done. It's the the sour notes on it are just perfect. You get a nice little hint of sherry and some fruit quality to it. It's got great balance to it. Yeah, it's just it's it's just it's fantastic. So yeah. it pairs really well with spicy foods too. If you ever want to eat something with it, so really? something real spicy. I didn't know that. Yeah, like Thai. Thai. I always love Thai. Yeah. yeah, with some sriracha. Get some rooster sauce up in that mess. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, I mean, Sweet. Uh, this made me feel weird. You're doing that. Oh, like that. Like, mm. I well, sent. I sent a. I sent the transition to master pairings. <laughs> Brace yourself, Doctor Bill is coming. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go to master pairings and talk about food. Or We're no. not doing food. We're this not doing week. food. We're, We're doing, doing cigars with uh, Chris White from Golden State Tobacco. Golden State Tobacco and uh, Boutique Cigars. Boutique Cigars.com. Yeah. So. Uh, they're doing a, I don't know the cigar, but something tasty. It's but something it's, that you light and and blow smoke out of. And since we're talking about the brewery, it's with the brewery's four calling birds. Oh, Bur- yeah. Bourbon barrel aged. Bourbon barrel aged four calling birds. So nice. There you go. Yeah. All right. See ya. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to another Master Pairings with me, Bill Sysak, and I once again have uh, Chris White from Boutique Cigars and the Grey Cloud, which is the ultimate beer, cigar, and food pairing festival. Uh, well, if Chris is on, you know we're probably not doing food. That's right. We're doing cigars, That's so right. let me uh, dig in the magic box here and see <laughs> what we have. I will say that uh, as a precursor that we have the wonderful brewery out of Placentia, uh, we have their Four Calling Birds. This is a dark Belgian-style ale with spices, but this is the Bourbon Barrel Edition. Thank you, John Holzer, for bringing this. Um, so that's going to be fun. A lot mm-hmm. of spices, a lot of winter spices. Nice. So I'm going to go... I'm, uh, I'm feeling Cubanish. So I'm going to go out on the end. Uh, I just gave you those uh, Esteli Herrera yeah, that just no, came out a couple of I think that's a good call here, so yeah, let's, let's try see. That. Ah, beautiful. Okay. I love the shape of cigar. Yeah, no, this is beautiful. Um, A little bit about this cigar. Um, This cigar just came out about two months ago, and it's already got a 93 rating. Uh, It's manufactured by Drew Estate. Drew Estate, as you know, they do their flagship line, Liga Pravada Liga Pravada. which is almost impossible to get, but Bill has a nice selection of humidor there. Thanks, Chris. This cigar, basically, they... uh, partnered with uh, Willie Herrera, who is from the El Titan, the bronze factory, and it's a factory in Little Havana um, area of Miami. And uh, they're all, you know, expert rollers, level nine rollers. Basically what uh, Drew Estate did, Jonathan Drew came to Willie and said, hey, um, you know, we want to partner with you and create a Cuban, Cuban-esque style cigar. So this is Drew Estate's first attempt into the, the Cuban style cigar market. So. It's great. It's nutty. Yeah, it's got some spice, some mm-hmm. um, some grassy notes, but it's big. Yeah. It's definitely got that great Cuban flavor profile when you start off kind of like a, a Monte Cristo number two yeah. almost. Yeah, exactly. It looks just like a, a Cuban. I mean, you yeah. know, if you look at the the you know the wrapper and the veins, I mean, right. you know, it looks just like a Cuban. But um, so, but yeah, you're right. On the first five six puffs, I right. mean, a lot of spice, and then it kind of okay. tapers off. So hold off on the. Uh, Tell us a little bit more about it in the second, third. Uh, with the beer, it's great. Actually, the beer is huge. It's got all these spices. When I have it with the cigar, well, I should say when I have it with the beer, molasses, brown sugar, all kinds of great stuff. When I have it with the cigar, one thing comes to mind, pecan pie. Ooh. It's just nutty and has a sweetness yep. and a little bit of spice, and it's just so delicious. Yep. So it's really good. So we'll be right back. We'll get into that second, third. Cheers. All right, welcome back. We're in the middle third, as you can see. Wow, pretty, uh, pretty big cigar for a medium body. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's got it's intensity of flavor. Yeah, the the pepper's really faded, but um, the uh, the honey and the uh, roasted nut tones have uh, really, you know, carried through to the second second third of the cigar. So, 
um, but the beer pairing, you know, like which plays beautifully with this Jedi, Christmas because it has notes now of cardamom, cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, uh -huh. allspice. Mm -hmm. Plays beautifully with the cigar. Man, I cannot yeah. rec recommend this enough, this Herrera Esteli. If you like Cuban style cigars, this is fantabulous and fantabulous, yeah. like that word. And it goes great with the spicy Christmas beers. Yep, absolutely. So it's a home yeah. run. And, you know, this cigar, this particular size actually just got a 93 rating. Um, there's four different sizes that they're manufacturing in this in this line. Um, but the, the Pyramid uh, Fino that we're smoking now is the, is the one that got the, uh, the 93 rating. So I've actually been waiting about two months to uh, get these cigars in and uh, finally just came in. And uh, I'm impressed. I, I think I'm going to take a box and age it for about a year and see, yeah. see what Thanks they do. Yeah. Um, they're really good. I... Huge fan. I think uh, we need to do this at our next cigar dinner at Stone Brewing Company. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do one, uh, I think, July 16th we're going to do them. Uh, don't really need to pimp that out because they sell out really oh, fast. Yeah. But if uh, we happen to show this before July 16th and you get the chance, grab a ticket. It's a fun event. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to step away. We're going to come back to the last third and uh, let you know how it finishes. We're at our final third. Yep. Uh, so you were saying uh, Willie Herrera, they gave him a year and just gave him access to all of their tobacco? Yes, yeah, so Steve Saka, the president of uh, Drew Estate, basically sent him down to Nicaragua, put him in front of a bench and said, here's the key to our, our tobacco vault. You know, create us a, a great cigar. And uh, this is what he came up with after, uh, you know, having access to everything. So to me, you know, it's a phenomenal cigar. Um, they're gonna. It's gonna be a little tough to find. They're 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 gonna. From rumors you know, that I've heard is that they're gonna position it to um, be like a Liga Privada style cigar. So right now they only have 52 retailers out in the country. I'm glad I and, know you. And it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be a very tough cigar to find. Uh, price point, you know, retail you're probably gonna find it for about 13 bucks. Um, so if you can find them. You know, get your hands on them. They're going to be on Boutique Cigars? Yep, they sure will. All right, well, there yeah. you go. Now you know where yeah. to find them. Boutique Cigars should be up and running here, you know, hopefully in the next month. Um, but we'll have, you know, you know, full selection of these. Um, but, yeah, I'm down to this last third. I'm starting to get some uh, some creaminess, Wood. some oakiness. Yeah. Um, so flavor profiles change. Goes quite great. A bit. Uh, very smooth finish. Goes beautifully with this beer. Yeah, and... Uh, We'll also be, uh, for those of you in Southern California, we'll be at the uh, uh, Packing House uh, Brewgrass Festival ju June 29th. So we'll have a full selection of these you know, you guys can try, um, as well as some of the other cigars we've done ratings on. So, so if you're bringing cigars out there for sale, for people to have at the festival. Yeah, uh, <coughs> I believe we're going to have a lounge out there. So um, cool. they'll be able to, you know. Uh, you'll be able to help them with pairings and what, but yeah, I'll come out there definitely. And yeah, so I know John and Steve will be there as well. So, so you know, if you guys and Matt, yeah, and Matt, I'm sorry. Well, um, obviously, Matt's Matt. with Packing House. And, yeah. Um, Unless but, they put them in a corner or something. Right, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, come out if you. Nobody puts Matt in the corner. Is that what they're saying? <laughs> yeah, if you live okay. in Southern California, come out and uh, you know come out and enjoy the day. Got it. Well, I want to thank you guys for all watching another Master Pairings. Um, Excellent cigar once again, Chris. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, you bet. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the finish of the cigar. And we're back. All right, and now Steve we're back. is topping us off. Topping. And, yeah. So uh, not me. Apparently. So anyway, Master Pairings, fantastic. This beer is amazing, and we have some events coming up. And by the way, Four Calling Birds Bourbon oh, Barrel Age is pretty freaking amazing too. I wouldn't know. I had already passed out by that point. Yeah, there's yeah. a video online. Yeah, that was rude. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't get. I, uh, unfortunately, you fall asleep I in public. That could be there. This is why I don't fall asleep in public normally. Yeah. Well, actually, it's funny because I. I... <laughs> well, that and because I'm afraid of being touched by people when I'm asleep. <laughs> You're so full of it. I yeah. I just have never been able to sleep in public. Um, but, uh, you, Passing so, out in public apparently, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I was gonna say it's nice because at least now I'm not the only one yeah. to pass out of Bill's house and missed out on shit. Um, I have yet to pass out. 
Good. On, well, you, you you have more responsibilities than we do. You actually yeah. have to make sure that things are. Yeah, Matt and I get going. bored when we're not on camera, so we're just sitting there chugging beer all day. You think I am not? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Well, anyway, you're... anyway. Um, Tangents. Next week is the Brewgrass Festival at Packing House, and um, we have two very important reasons why we are excited about that. One, it's Matt's brewery. Well, and I, I, I brew for them, but well, and it's a it's a. a a pretty notable beer fest. Well, and it's our yeah, and it's our local brewery. I mean, yeah. even even if you weren't even, even before you were the brewery there, brewer there, it's our it was our local. We brewery, also have so. twenty other breweries all around from Southern California, most of from the Inland Empire that are going to be there too. It's going to be pretty cool, <coughs> including including some home brews from our very own me. Yay! Yes. Very and own I poured me. the hops in. I helped brew this beer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's with. Uh, it, it, what's okay? I gotta get the homebrew club's name correct. It's the Ripperside Brew Punks with an mm -hmm. X. Yep. Uh, yeah, that sounded as white as it could sound. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm like, wow, this is so Inland Empire. It's the Ripperside no, Brew uh, Punks. <laughs> They're friends of mine. They cannot. I, Sir, yeah. your beer is not brewed properly. But there's gonna be a lot of beer. Like there, they, you have 20 craft breweries, and then um, there are they the only club that's gonna be. No, there. there are, there's there's a, a few other uh, homebrew clubs that are gonna be there too. Right. So. Well, that is all this beer. Hold on, that's who I'm going through, I guess. Yeah. So um, you might. A, have heard I'm of, not a member of any brew club, but kind of I am with them. Yeah. I guess. You might you might you might have heard of the the, the famed Oats and Hose. So this is Oats be, and Hose. It's gonna be the, like like a session Oats and Hose. Yeah, it session. turned into a session beer because so like I brewed it. No, it's mini Oats and Hose. <laughs> oh, mini Oats and Hose. Yeah, it's like mini me. <laughs> so it's Oats and Hose only without capital letters. That's better than what I was about to say that I filtered out. No, but uh, I'm gonna have not. I'm, yeah, it's gonna be an awesome <coughs> event. But my beer that's gonna be there is uh, the Session Oats and Hose, and it is Session. It's gonna be 3.9 percent, so it's officially a Session beer. And then. Um, but I made 10 gallons, so five is gonna be that, which hopefully it turns out good because I took the regular recipe and just added more water, basically, and nice. another pound of oats. Word. So hopefully it brought up the mouth. It'll be good. But uh, the other one's gonna be revenge porn, which is oats and hose with a ton of tart organ cherries and a couple habaneros. I just realized that when you said revenge porn, I did this face. <laughs> which I think I did too, was well, yeah, which was which was um, concerning the beer, but I think it might have created the wrong impression. Revenge it porn is also beer. our next podcast that we'll be putting out. Also. <laughs> Not video. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awkward. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, it's going to be an awesome event. It's going to so, be fun. Yeah. It's and the first then, event my beer will be on tap at, so mm -hmm. hopefully it's good. It's yeah. fermenting great right now. Right on. Right on. And then a little distance into the future, in August, on the 10th, is the Full Pint Friends of Ours. We mm -hmm. love the Full Pint. Good friends, love them. Uh, Fullpint.com, or thefullpint.com. Mm -hmm. um, and that they're having their sixth anniversary party, and that's gonna be at 38 degrees, and it's amazing. It's and a I, party not to be missed. Like, the Full Pint, like, we do pretty good parties. I yeah. Think, but the Full Pint really does. Yeah, they, because I, I think their, their anniversary beer is being brewed again by Firestone Walker, right? I'm not sure, but yeah, last yeah. year it was a, a blend Firestone did for them, and mm -hmm. you know when a blog gets a beer blended by Firestone. Yeah, and I mean, and they're they become more of a news good. outlet at this point than just a typical blog. And they're, no, they're everything. They're, yeah. I mean, they yeah. and they do review beer. Uh, I guess from time to time, or, mm -hmm. and you can find New Brew Thursday there. Yeah, if yeah. you're still looking for it, which would be weird because you're watching the show. So, so you could go to the host. full pint. <laughs> And it could be like your all-in-one <laughs> beer news review, mm -hmm. entertainment. So, this was an awkward for, for, for all your beer entertainment needs. This was an awkward commercial. Danny, you owe me a beer. It's not a commercial. No, the, <laughs> the full pint anniversary parties are nothing to be fucked with. Yeah, no. Fullpint.com. <laughs> How much would you pay for an amazing event like this? Don't answer yet. <laughs> so. How much is the event? I don't have any idea. Yeah, We're yeah we, we, we know what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> at least we better be. <laughs> Danny's like, the, the fuck you are. <laughs> we just spent like the last five minutes talking about. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, there's a lot of events. This is we're coming into the summer season, so we're gonna have a lot of events, um, but we're gonna focus on a few each time. So, um, but anyway, this was a great beer. It's nice to revisit an old friend and uh, see how he's aged. It's mm. a good, and, um, uh, you know. I guess introductory beer to sours. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it's got it's got the right balance. Good it's got the sour. right acidity. It's got the right maltiness. So yeah, it's yeah. it's excellently done. Right and on. I'm sorry I screwed up the first take. 
Cheers to screwing up. Sounds good. And all you out there, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers. Cheers.